Hey guys, in today's video, I wanna talk about iOS 17 and some of the hidden features you probably didn't know about. These features really help improve the user experience. So I wanted to get on here and share these with you guys. Now, the first thing I would like to talk about is a new feature called Shake to Undo on the home screen. So let me give you a quick example here. So let's say you move a couple of icons around, just like so, you select a couple of icons and then you move them, let's say to the last page. And then you say, you know what? I don't really like this change. Let me revert that to what it was. I can shake my iPhone and undo that just like so. The icons go right back to where they were. Now this also works with widgets. For example, if I wanna move this widget here, let's say I wanna place it over here and then I say, you know what? I don't like that. So again, shake it and you go back to the same setup you had before you move that widget. So this is really cool, of course, if you like changing your iPhone around, customizing, you can use this shake to undo on the home screen, which is super cool feature to go back to the old setup that you had previously. Now this next one makes your iPhone actually faster to interact with 3D touch or haptic touch, whatever you decide to call it, right? Long pressing on icons, images, or interacting throughout the operating system. You can actually make it faster. So if we go into settings, we go under accessibilities, under touch and then we click here under haptics we have three options we have slow which of course it is going to be slow as you can see right there then we have default which is the previous fast in ios 16 by the way as you can see right there and then we have fast which is the new fastest option here in ios 17 you click zoom right there it makes your iphone a lot faster it works through the entire operating system for images for icons anywhere you use 3d touch or haptic touch you'll be able to do this a lot faster with this new fast option under haptic touch in accessibilities. Now, did you know that the camera on your iPhone got smarter with iOS 17? Let me show you visual lookup. So here's a tag from one of my pants, as you can see right there. And this tag has these icons at the bottom here. So if you don't know what they mean, your iPhone can actually tell you what they mean. So if I take a picture of a label or some icon that I don't know what it means, I can actually now with my camera, go into my photos here. And I already taken this picture for the purpose of the video here. So you can see there the tag, the icons. If I swipe here, this is the result right there. So easily to look it up. So you take a picture of the actual label and then down here you have the letter I right there. This shows you the visual lookup. It shows you laundry information right there. It is the tag and what this information actually means. Now I also taken pictures of the dashboard of my car. So as you can see right there, the icons before I start up the vehicle, I took a picture and these are the results. It also works with food. So if you take pictures of a plate that you're about to eat, it actually gives you recommendations of what it could be and how to make it as well. So super cool feature visual lookup here on your iPhone. Your camera just got smarter with iOS 17 and I really like this feature. All right, so here's a really cool feature for Siri. It's called announce notifications on speaker. When you get a message, Daisy said, hello and sent a waving hand emoji. So your iPhone and Siri can now actually read any notification that you set out loud through the speaker of your iPhone. Now, if you go into settings on your iPhone, you can go under accessibilities. Here you find the Siri options at the bottom here. And then you wanna scroll all the way to the bottom and you find the option announce notifications on speaker. You can go to the notification options. You see all the apps you have installed here and then you can select which apps you want Siri to notify you using the speaker of your phone. As you can see right there, you have the option to choose time sensitive or all notifications. You have the toggle here and you can choose all the apps that you have installed on your iPhone. So really cool feature, announce notifications on speaker using the speaker of your iPhone. This was previously possible when you wear your headphones, but now it's possible without having to wear your headphones through the speaker of your iPhone. Now, last but not least, I would like to talk about Safari and private browsing. So if we go into settings here and we find the Safari extension, there it is. We can go into the Safari extension and we have this new option right here. So it says request face ID to unlock private browsing. So in Safari, of course, we have private browsing and then we have our tabs. So now it requires Face ID to unlock this private tab that you have enabled right here. Of course, you can continue browsing on any other tab, but if you have any private tabs enabled, it will now lock that with Face ID under your Safari settings here in the settings of your iPhone. So I think these features are very, very useful and help improve the user experience. Let me know if you knew any of these. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.